Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest 255, Find Unique Binary String. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, whatever problems you like to do. And if you're here after the contest, then definitely check me out because uh, we're gonna, we usually talk about the contest right afterwards. But for this problem, um, basically, you can just brute force try. Put everything here in the set and then brute force looking for it, right? Um, because at most, you know that there are n, uh, n unique binary strings. That means that at most, you're going to do n plus 1 checks because of the pigeonhole principle. So from that, that's pretty basic. Um, given that n is at most 16, that's only 16 checks, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, if you want to really <laughs> analyze about the worst case, you can think about... Uh, let me go over and think real quick. I mean, a lot of this is just weird code-ish in that... Um, but it should be okay. Um, in that, you know, like I just... Here, I I convert it from base 2 to... Um, you know, I can convert the binary string into a number and then put it in a set. Here, I just pad for leading zeros. And this is literally, um, you know, for x from 0 to 2 to the n, we check with x is in the set. If it's not, then we return it, which is what the problem asks you. Again, this does at most like n, which is or n plus 1. So 16 or 17 checks, so it's going to be fast enough. I wouldn't worry about it. If you do want to have, you know, if you want to think about worst cases that, uh, and instead you want to play around with randomized algorithms, this is actually a fun problem to try it for because it will actually give you a better average response if you had a knowing adversary. Like if someone knew your algorithm, um, then here you would get the worst case every time. But if you use a random thing, then you can actually get it uh, a better expected case. Um, play around with that math, play around that if you like, um, but yeah, uh, am I good here? I think I am good here. So yeah, so what is the complexity of this? Like I said, this is, this is O of N, I guess, because eh, maybe N squared, if you want to call it that, where N is only 16, because, because this check requires a linear-ish lookup, but this is a constant, or this is a linear lookup, but the length of it can be linear in t terms of n, I don't know. So this is O of n or O of n squared, depending on how you want to phrase it. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Hmm, okay. Link N. Any link? Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. Huh. No, I got. Why is the why did they reuse and so weird? Okay, fine. This is not quite right because of the prefix. I forget how to do it.
What a weird problem, but okay. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope y'all have a good rest of the week. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, uh, and to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.